I am tremendously honored uh, to be here and to have been chosen to open uh, this event and uh, that is going to last several months, I'm told, to celebrate uh, Cervantes uh, and the Quixote. Uh, the Quixote is such an important icon in Hispanic culture that it's very appropriate that uh, a celebration uh, like this uh, take place. Uh, also, um, there happen to be certain events like uh, the anniversary of the publication of part two of the Quixote in 1615. Uh, even the, the recent finding of the of Cervantes' uh, remains in, in Madrid uh, that have brought uh, Cervantes and his great book uh, to the attention of the public uh, in general. So I think this is very appropriate. I'm very happy to be in this beautiful college and in this beautiful area of the United States. Uh, so I am uh, exceedingly happy to be here. Well, I hope that what I say today inspires people who have not read the Quixote to read the Quixote and those who have read the Quixote to have a, a better understanding uh, of it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to place it in the context of the European literature of the, of, of the moment. I'm going to focus on the creation of the characters. Uh, I am going to begin with my dispute with John Rutherford, the translator uh, of the Penguin Classics uh, edition, which has my, my, my prologue. Uh, and this is all uh, with the intention of, uh, of uh, stimulating interest uh, in the Quixote. At a, and bring the level of reflection about it to a higher uh, level than is normally uh, the case. Uh, I hope that everyone participates in this festival, that everyone reads the Quixote, and maybe even some may watch my course online on the Quixote. In front of the mirror, we are all Don Quixote. I am Quixote, are you?